Hi there, I'm Katie Morton. I'm an intuitive and an energy healer. And I'm Jennifer Palmer. I'm an intuitive energy healer and owner of Nourishing Journey. And with us today, we have Taruna Barber. Yay, I love Taruna. I do too, she's <laughs> fantastic. She is a life purpose coach, an extremely talented energy healer, and a Kashuk Records reader. Thank so, you. So, Taruna, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you guys for uh, inviting me to be here and to chat with you guys today. Awesome. We're grateful you're here. Yeah. So we wanted to start off the conversation with what you did in your previous life, <laughs> this life, but in a previous career. Um, you used to be a pediatric neuropsychologist. How does someone who is so scientifically trained get into energy healing and Akashic Records? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> but, you know, there's always been the different sides to myself. So there, I mean, ultimately, my interest has always been um, healing and helping. And that's what led me to um, get my PhD in clinical psychology to specialize in neuropsychology. It was the way that I knew to help people with my gifts. Um, but, you know, I've always tended towards being a spiritual person. Um, and as I became aware of what's possible and I started my own spiritual path, um, things really opened up. I started to get tuned into different um, forms of energy healing and starting to work with it. And for a long time, it was very separate. So I had my um, neuropsychology practice, which was a very typical, you know, psychology neuropsych practice. Um, but on the side, I was developing myself spiritually and as an energy healer. Um, and so it was sort of like two different tracks that were going on simultaneously in my life for a long time. So, so what kinds of training did you have? How did that? How did that as a psychologist. Well, well, that too, but also uh, specifically the energy healing, since so much of what we do here is about spirituality and healing. How did you get down that road? And like, what was the first class you took? And, and how did that unfold for you? Yeah. So, you know, the funny thing is that um, when I was still, I think, a postdoc in studying neuropsychology, um, one morning my alarm went off and it was set to go off with the radio. So the radio came on and there was um, an interview going on um, of a psychologist that was doing past life regression therapy. And mm -hmm. I had already, you know, I already believed in past lives. It was just part of my belief system, but that really fascinated me. And so I um, lo looked up the psychologist and I started kind of looking at it online just out of curiosity. Um, and then I wanted to try it. So I went and um, had my own session of a past life therapy regression session. Um, it actually resulted in a very powerful physical healing for me where I had some um, really bad skin problems that um, I had been to dermatologists for and, you know, different sorts of traditional medical treatments that, and it was very resistant to getting better. And I had had it for years. And um, um, one, that one session of past life regression therapy, I regressed to a previous lifetime where I had had burns on my face and it released the trauma of that. And literally like within a week, my face was completely cleared up. Wow. So that was like very huge validation for me that there's something beyond the physical that can connect to um, healing. And like I said, I mean, the whole reason I went into being a psychologist was to do offer healing. So um, I, it started me down the path. Um, and um, I started just, you know, experimenting with different practitioners, myself receiving different types of healings and intuitive readings and things like that. And, um, and I, the first class that I myself took was Reiki one, <laughs> started with Reiki. Um, and I felt the energy with that. I felt the effects with that. Um, 
I, I ride horses. So I would kind of go and practice the Reiki with the horses and they were, you know, they give immediate feedback. Animals are very, you know, they'll feel the energy and they'll respond right away. Um, and then after that, you know, over the course of probably 15 years, I ended up getting certified in probably like 10 different modalities of energy healing. So, you know, Reiki, Arcturian healing method, um, pranic healing, bioridian healing, holistic metamorphosis, mm -hmm. um, a lot of different modalities of healing. So um, it's been a journey and a path of um, discovery and, and just watching how people respond to energy and how it kind of really integrates really nicely with working pe with people sort of more on a coaching level. So it's, it's, it's an ongoing journey, but it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Mel, what do you feel is your purpose with this? Of course, to heal, but what is your gift and how does that differ from other healers? Um, you know, I think because I have this background where I um, have a more scientific training and I have a traditional training as a psychologist, um, that what I what I do is I don't practice psychology anymore. Um, but what I do is I am integrate coaching with energy healing with the intuitive reading of the Akashic records. And um, so I'm able to kind of bring together both the practical application and kind of making real life changes with shifting things energetically um, at a deeper level. So it tends to help people, I feel, um, more quickly experience benefits in their life than if you just work on a practical level alone or you work even just on an energetic level alone. But mm -hmm. if you can kind of help people take the energetic shifts and figure out how to make changes in their life um, that align with that shift, that it tends to really help people. So I feel like that's what my gift is, is sort of bringing together the, um, the practical, the scientific, the energetic, the intuitive in a way that's, you know, going to be individualized for what each client needs, um, but, but bringing those together. So, yeah. So, you know, we all face challenges, especially as <laughs> healers, it seems like it comes as part of the, the package. So what are some of the challenges that you've had to face and, and overcome to get where you are today? Um, you know, I think that the um, biggest challenges have been around the decision to let go of my psychology neuropsych practice mm -hmm. and to make um, what I'm doing now, the energetic work, um, my full-time uh, offering. And that was huge because, you know, I had many years of education to get those degrees and um, you know, certification and licensure and all of that. Um, and I had a very successful neuropsych practice. I was booked a few months out. It was like, um, it, I used to think of it as kind of like the golden handcuffs <laughs> yeah. because it was really, um, it was really hard to leave. Um, but yet it was getting harder and harder for me to just do that because the truth was that in my, on the side, as I worked on people energetically outside of my psychology practice, um, I saw people experiencing such huge shifts that it was like, okay, I need to be doing this. And so following my own life purpose, um, and kind of finding it within me to make those big changes in my life and take those risks um, ha have been the hardest parts, I would say. And then, you know, to jump from something that everybody kind of understands what a psychologist is, um, <laughs> nobody really knows, <laughs> right? Like, it's, hard, it's harder to kind of talk, explain what I do and for people to understand, and there's a lot more of client education involved. Um, so for people to try it and experience it. So, so those have been some of the bigger challenges I'd say I've faced. Um, it's taught me a lot in terms of being able to um, help people align with their life purpose. And I think that's why I'm drawn to doing this is because um, I know what the challenges are. I know that a lot of times to shift into something that really feels fulfilling and aligned and authentic to who you are at soul level 
um, sometimes you have to let go of stuff that wasn't aligned. And that can be really, people can be in that conflict for a long time, I was. And so kind of helping people to navigate that and figure out really how to create success in alignment with their life purpose so that they can be more in joy and prosperity and fulfillment. That's awesome. I have one follow-up question. I know one of your teachers is Jean Ang, who is a Yale-trained, I believe, a neurobiologist. How did you find him? And also, can you share, you know, what is Arcturian healing for the uninitiated, for people who have never experienced it? What is that? And who are the Arcturians? <laughs> Go for it, Taruna. So I have Jen to thank <laughs> for introducing me to Jean because... Um, I did not know that, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because um, Jean comes to Nourishing Journey usually once a year and offers classes here. And so... Um, so, you know, he came and I was very much in that mode of I'm going to take every class and certification and training I can get my hands on to develop energy healing. And so um, I took I took the level one class here at Nourishing Journey. Um, and um, it's been, you know, that's also an evolving healing method. And it's a it's a very powerful one. It's it's probably the predominant one that I use. Um, you know, to me, who are the Arcturians? Um, the way I experience them is that there's there's many um, spiritual beings. There's angelic beings. There's spirit guides. Um, there are also various celestial beings that are in different parts of the universe. And um, the Arcturians are very highly evolved spiritual beings. Um, that come through very powerfully and offer um, tremendous healing technology. And so within the Arcturian healing method, there are um, energetic frequencies that are specifically geared towards supporting people with physical healing of different sorts, like neurological or endocrine or, you know, cellular healing. Then there's emotional healing um, and releasing fear and anxiety and, and emotional wounds and hurts of the past traumas. Um, there's some frequencies that are for helping people um, kind of clear karmic balances and to align with their optimal timeline in their lives. Um, there's frequencies that are geared towards manifesting. So it's a very comprehensive healing system that is still developing. So, so far, I think um, Jean is up to downloading seven levels of it. I've taken six so far. Um, and so it's, it's, and more is coming. So it's continuing to grow and, and to expand. Um, but I, I do a lot of times in my work with clients and my sessions with clients, it is Arcturian healing frequencies that will come through that really, I mean, it's amazing to watch how quickly the energy behind a stuck thought or a subconscious belief or a, a fear can be uprooted and released. Um, so, yeah, excellent. I had the pleasure of experiencing uh, an Arturian healing with Taruna this weekend and top notch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and real quickly, um, because I'm sure there are some people who don't know what the Akash is. Can you explain the Akashic records? Yeah, yeah. So the idea is, and the idea of the Akashic Records, it actually exists pretty much across spiritual or religious traditions in some form or the other. It's referred to as like a book of records. And but basically what it is, is it's almost, I think of it like an etheric database. So it's not a physical database, but it, it's uh, almost like a database of information about each soul. So since your soul was created, um, every lifetime that your soul has lived through and every choice in every lifetime. So it's a huge, huge amount of information about a soul. It's really an information base. Um, and so when I access people's Akashic records, um, usually it's for a couple of things. One is to help people to really 
understand who they are at soul level, what their soul level gifts and talents are, kind of going beyond their personality or their ego in this lifetime, but to really understand who they are as a soul, because the more that you live into your soul level gifts and who you, your soul's divine nature, the more filled you tend to feel, the more authentic you tend to be in terms of um, pursuing your life. Um, and then I also look in the Akashic Records to see if there are patterns that have been set up sometimes in previous lifetimes that have set up blocks or restrictions or challenges that a person is continuing to replay in this lifetime. So sometimes we experience challenges and, you know, like I described earlier that with my, even my physical skin issue, that the cause of that actually originated in a previous lifetime. And that was through past life regression therapy, but the Akashic Records is another way to access that type of information and you can get to it and clear it. So, um, so I use the Akashic Records for that. And then you can also use the Akashic Records um, to receive guidance um, towards manifesting something. So um, the, the, the records won't ever tell you what to do because we are divine beings with free will, right? Like there's no, we're here to create our own reality through our own divine self-expression. Um, but we can gain information about what our soul is here to experience in this lifetime. And by aligning with that and by aligning our actions towards that, we can um, more successfully create the outcome that we want. So, for example, I've helped people to find a relationship um, through the Akashic Records by understanding what their soul was looking for in a relationship. Um, I've helped people sort of increase their business um, through the Akashic Records by looking in, the, in their soul's records to see what their soul wants to experience through their business in this lifetime. So um, it's an information base that can help people to align more with what their soul is here to do, to clear their soul level blocks and restrictions um, so that you can create what you want in this life, what you're trying to achieve. Excellent. So what's coming up in the near future for you? Um, well, <laughs> um, I'm continuing to my work with um, coaching people um, that are looking towards, um, primarily I work with people that are either looking to um, heal or create a relationship or that are wanting to release blocks to their business and to growing their business. Um, and then I also work a lot with animals and especially horses um, through animal healing and, and the Akashic Records. So it's sort of continuing to be of service in whatever way that I'm guided to and um, to, to be here to support people that I can. Excellent. Awesome. Well, thank you so much well, for joining us Real today. quickly, though, how can people reach you? Oh, that's an important question. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, well, my website is www.tarunabarber.com. So it's my name, T-A-R-U-N-A, -A, barber like a hair cutter, B-A-R-B-E-R, -E um, at uh, tarunabarber.com. So that's going to have all of my contact information and, and more information about my offerings. Excellent. Thank you so much, Taruna. Yeah, thank you, guys. It's <laughs> great chatting with you. You too. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>